Today's recipe is a very simple one to put together. You're going to love the outcome. We're making a goosey soup with bitter leaf. Trust me, guys, when I say this is incredibly delicious. In fact, you're going to bite your fingers eating this yummy delicacy. And we're going to pair it together with soft, smooth fufu. Mmm, my goodness. Try it again. <laughs> need to try this kumbu it is absolutely great don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel share my video with your friends and loved ones turn on your bell notifications so that you will get instant prompts each time i upload of course you're watching queen varieties channel okay love so the fufu video has already been uploaded on this channel we are making cassava plantain fufu that is what we'll be using to pair this soup so i'm going to link it in the description section kindly check it out for this recipe you will need two paprika three onions three bonnet peppers one head garlic and also one tomato i'll transfer everything neatly cleansed into my food processor and crush it down coarsely please subscribe like and share my video just in case you have not done so yet okay next i'm going to add some palm oil into the pot allow that to heat up once heated i'll add the ingredients that coarsely blended into it cook down for exactly 10 to 15 minutes with the pot properly covered all right folks so 10 to 15 minutes later the frying process now is done you can see what we are having there the sauce has changed its appearance i will introduce crayfish and locust beans and then give that a gentle stir for like you know one to two minutes so that the flavor will penetrate next i'll add the chief ingredient which is um, 500 grams of uh, melon seeds which is already blended you're going to toast this for like five minutes after five minutes of toasting i will then introduce three cups of hot water now it is very important to use hot water when you're making a goosey because you don't want the grains of the goosey seed to slip once the water is added i will stir to combine now the water also is going to help the goosey to cook as fast as possible cover the pot and then i will get back to you soonest <laughs> Alright friends, so 15 minutes later, the egusi has properly cooked. Now, if you're a guest, you come to my house, you eat my soup, your stomach is not going to rumble. I mean, it's not going to do... <laughs> yes, that comes when you eat uncooked um, egusi soup. I will then introduce my stock, which is goat meat stock with stock fish, which I have cooked um, off camera. So please make sure that your stock is properly, you know, flavored so that your soup will turn out um, very good. I know we all know how to cook and um, proteins. I'll cover that and cook for extra five minutes. All right, lovely. So five minutes later, I open up the pot and the pot is boiling properly. So because my proteins are already cooked and then grilled, I will then introduce them um, bitter leaf into the pot, give it a good stir. Now I'm adding bitter leaf right now because um, I want the flavor to integrate perfectly into the soup. If you're not using bitter leaf, you don't need to worry about this step, okay? So I'll go ahead and add a little bit of salt to boost out the flavor a little bit. That is because um, the bitter leaf is going to drop the salt content. Also notice I didn't add them um, stock cubes. That's because the proteins were cooked um, off camera. okay so about five minutes later i am back once again and here you can see that the soup is looking very elegant super delicious at the same time it is not too oily a goosey contains a lot of oil so you don't need too much oil for your soup this recipe i'll be using tofu tofu is highly proteinous i'm going to add a little bit of oil and upper seasoning to that and then transfer to the oven and then bake it okay for my proteins, I am using um, goat meat, beef, and then my tofu. Feel free to use any protein of your choice, chicken, whatever, beef. You can even go for different kinds of fish. Just do you what you think is okay for you, okay? But trust me, the tofu is absolutely and incredibly awesome for the soup. Now, tofu is not only meant for vegans. You have to note that anyone can eat it because of its health benefits. Here, I have stirred properly and covered the pot to simmer down for at least five good minutes.
all right my fabulous folks friends this soup now is perfectly ready after five minutes it has simmered down completely and you can see how thick it is so just in case you don't like your soup very thick you just have to add a little bit of water if you want to serve your soup to guests visitors who come to you know visit you this is how thick you want the soup to be that is because um, you want it like the authentic way we niger people make it okay so we are going to pair with the fufu it is ready i'm going to transfer to the clean firm and here serve my family so guys we have come to the end of today's recipe and enjoy this soup with any swallow of your choice my choice for today is plantain cassava fufu you can go for a bar and um, other kinds of fufu i have them all on my platform i'll be linking all of them in the description section and here we are going to enjoy our soup remember variety is the spice of life thank you so much for spending time with me until i come your way next time stay blessed and love bye for now <laughs>